Hello, welcome to Drawing for Relaxation. My name's Heidi, I'm an Arts Facilitator here at Derby Museums and today we're going to be looking at personal possessions. I have some personal possessions here from the museum collection that we're going to explore. So I have here some wonderful objects from the museum collection. Some would have been carried by people all day long, like a fob watch, a lighter, but I'm going to pick this one here, this perfume spray, because it has a mixture of different textures and a lovely colour that I want to try and capture with the watercolour pe pencils we're going to use. So I'm going to take these away. If you're going to pick an object from home, it can be anything. It could be something that means a lot to you. It could be a childhood toy, grandparents. Um, diaries maybe, but I personally like this one here because I kind of like to imagine who, who did it belong to, where did she go, what was she thinking when she sat at a dressing table and, and sprayed perfume on. Also it's a really object, lovely object to hold here, it has some built-in handles. Now I'm going to use pencils and watercolour pencils here. These are water soluble, so when you put water on top, you can use it like a watercolour paint, or you could just leave it as crayon. And I've got um, a variety of different um, pencil leads here. So I've got hard ones and soft ones. I'm going to use the 2B because it's the most versatile one. First of all, I'm going to mark it out and looking at the outside shape, the inside negative shapes and try and get a feel for the texture. So, starting out with the top. So this is quite a tricky one, it's a mixture of hard edges and soft and the angle means that I'm kind of looking down on it. If you feel it's not right then just start again. It doesn't matter if you have to go over it there. So I'm just Simply marking it out, so it can be quite sketchy. And because it's fairly close, you don't really have to measure it that much, you can just draw by eye. sure when this was made but it has all kind of sort of art deco feel to it especially with the, the pink the coral pink the shapes in the bottom are quite architectural they're very classic lines here It's very easy to draw what you think should be there, but looking at it from this angle, you can't actually see the side on either edge, even though I wanted to put it in. So just be mindful of that, of drawing what is there and not what you think should be there. There are some wonderful knots here and really subtle lines, so you can use the lines on here to actually draw this end bit of the tassel. A bit of a softer pencil. So 
so you're drawing textures um, and textiles you don't need to put in every mark it's enough to suggest what's there and here there's a sense of movement all the loose tassels can start with a lighter colour <coughs> and then move up to the darker ones. It's easier to put the dark over the light colour. Also, don't forget shadows because they help to show the shape of an object. I find the great thing about drawing is that when you're doing it, because you have to concentrate so much on what you're seeing, what you want to put on paper, you probably find that you do forget to, to think about things that maybe are at the back of your mind or worrying. And it's such a good and easy way of, of just zoning out, using different parts of your brain. Sometimes you know, it can be a bit like meditating and you know that you're actually relaxing when you forget about time. Another thing you can do, instead of looking at texture and shape, you could just look at the line. You could use an ink pen and just do a continuous line of the whole um, image. So be adventurous. You don't feel that you have to do something. You can just experiment. It is a bit like going for a walk and looking at the trees and looking at the light and listening to the sounds and instead of that you can do this in your own home and you can just follow the lines of the object and changes in colour, light and shade. So on this object, on this bottle, the light is actually changing a lot. So very simply just marking out some of the main lines that I can see. So I'm going to see what happens now. I'll come out here when I put water on top. So I'm trying to follow the lines that I picked out. And stitching. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. I've gone for an impression of it. It's quite loose because the light on here is changing all over. So it's very hard to get a definite line. So I've gone for a, a feel for the shapes and the different textures. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I find myself going back in time and I think I was back in the 1930s, 40s. But if you have an object that you choose to draw at home, it could take you back to your children's objects, to, to when you were a young parent. And, um, and I think that's the wonderful thing about possessions and, and why we keep them, because they're, they're special memories. But with this, um, I think it's, it's just a fun way of imagining somebody else's life and, um, and their adventures.